So SWATCAM is our crop and weed imaging system that we've developed to quantify how well we've established those crops in, in all of our SWAT zones. Traditionally, the process is very manual. An agronomist is sent out to the field, capturing images of the crop, manually counting it. So it's a very monotonous task. And we found that we were probably driving like 80% of the time and actually collecting data 20% of the time. The SWAT cam system automatically captures images as it's mounted to a sprayer boom, as it's going through the field. It started from a really small idea. Uh, we did a small project. Uh, in that project, we did a pilot study that if we can use uh, images, real world images taken from the field uh, and do some detections on them, like uh, crops and weeds, or if we can discriminate between different types of weeds, the results were very good. It's extremely useful like to see what is growing where in the field. It's not just that there is some green rear, there is some vegetation. We need to discriminate that this type of vegetation, this is canola and this is kosher. We have to determine what is crop, what is weed, how much of the crop is in that image. And we use machine learning to predict what is crop and then it quantifies it for that whole image. We quantify the crop independent of the weeds and then we summarize that by, by SWAT zone so the agronomists and farmers can do their analysis on how well they did in establishing that crop. SWAT maps has been fantastic. It validates everything I see out there. This is the second season with it. And last year it worked fantastic. We had issues with seed treatment, we had issues with cutworms, we had issues with flea beetles, and it was, it was able to ground truth areas that were really poor. And it automated, makes it, makes it easy for me. Instead of going out to the farm and blindly going into a bunch of fields and trying to find problems, I can actually look at this data ahead of time. As an agronomist, I've, I've used it, you know, even for our herbicide efficacy check. So after the field is sprayed, we always go back and see how well the herbicide is working. We can use these maps to pinpoint areas of the field that have higher weed populations, right? So going to those areas, seeing how well it's working and, uh, and assessing if we need to, to do anything about it. The main thing that the students are working on is to train machine learning models uh, for different crops, for different weeds, then what we do is we ship the models to crop domestic and then they fly it in the fields. They look at the results of those things and see where they are failing and then bring those edge cases to us uh, and we use them to improve the model. So it's an iterative process. The biggest thing when talking with our service providers is their biggest challenge is they don't have enough time, they don't have enough manpower. And I think that SWAT cam addresses both those needs perfectly. They're able to get thousands of pictures of a customer's field corner to corner. They're able to do plant stand counts. We're able to take those plant stand counts and if they've done variable rate seeding, you know, they're able to compare those zones to see how they're reacting with each other. You know, it makes a lot of sense to them, right? Some of these products are close to 20 bucks an acre. You know, in the past, they've been spraying it on the whole field. If all of a sudden they're spraying it on 10% of the field, that's a lot of dollars. To have that data across the whole farm in every field and every crop is uh, a very you know, powerful information. As we work with the farmers and agronomists, we're just finding more and more uses for it.